What's up guys, your main lead monster still here. And in this video, you're probably wondering exactly how to make a fan page, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over to any fan page. I typically go over to the Miami Heat because it's the fastest way for me to get to this button at the top that says create a page. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a page, okay? And depending whether you're promoting a local business, a company, an organization, a brand, or a product, and we're typically dealing with brands or products when we're dealing with online marketing or uh, JVZoo products, ClickBank products, and things of that nature. So uh, I'm going to typically go with that one. And for training purposes, I'm going to choose a brand or a product. All right. And, you know, now that I've actually picked out my niche, I'm going to go with, uh, I'll go with software. And if you don't mind, just excuse me for just a second. I'm actually going to reference my Facebook because there's a software that's coming out uh, that's going to go viral pretty quickly. And I'm going to just go ahead and kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to train you guys today. And I'm also going to uh, create this fan page for the software that's coming out. So what I'm doing right now on my phone is I'm just scrolling through and I'm looking for the name. Uh, and as soon as I find the name, I'm going to type it in here. And it's called... Uh, similar to one that's came out uh, not too long ago, but it's called Social Photo Magic. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Get Started. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is put in a description, right? So I'm just going to say, you know, buy Social Photo Magic, you know, or you could say something like, you know, get more, what? Yeah, we can say get more info on social photo magic. Now, anytime you're doing uh, the description, you want to put the name of the product in here because that'll help ranking on Google and YouTube, right? And so just for training purposes, because I don't have an affiliate link just yet for this product because it hasn't launched just yet, um, is social photo magic a real product, business, or brand? Yes, it is, right? So... What I'm going to do is, you know, I'll just put in the website here, whatever website you're promoting. And you can, you know, you can get elaborative. You can put a, a good description in there. Uh, let people know, you know, like, for example, I could say social photo magic will allow you to turn any picture into a clickable, you know, Facebook post and many other features are, what well, I guess it's, uh, I guess you can only put so much, so I'll just do that. Social photo magic will allow you to turn any picture into a clickable Facebook post. And then go ahead and save that info. Uh, let's see, socialphotomagic.com. It says invalid website, uh, it should be good. Let's check it out. But whatever product you guys are promoting, um, obviously, uh, there we go. So it says invalid, but my the website is obviously valid. So let's go ahead and uh, whoop. There we go. I think it's because I had a space in there. So make sure you don't have a space in there. Let me go ahead and grab this uh, picture here, and let me say social photo magic, right? I'm gonna go back. Upload this picture, uh, social come on, did it not save? Let me go back and save this one more time. Social photo whoop magic. All right, so we'll go ahead and replace that file. And once again, guys, it's really just taking action on this stuff. A lot of people will learn this stuff. They'll never do anything with it. And it's a huge mistake. So I highly suggest that, now I gotta find my picture and where it's saved to. Uh, there it goes. So I highly suggest that you guys just take action. You blitz yourself out, you, you just, you know, if you're not sure if something's going to work, I know a lot of times people won't do something because they don't feel like it's going to work or they're not sure if it's going to work, right? Uh, and I'm not going to boost this fan page out right now um, because once again, I don't even have my affiliate link. So let's skip that part, which I already showed you. 
Um, and that's it, right? The, the next thing you do is just add a timeline cover. And what I typically do is I'll go to the main website and I'll look for, you know, something like this. Um, I'm not sure what this image is going to pop up as, but uh, let's just do social photo magic. So SPM, we'll save that. Save your photo. And you can actually get timeline covers from uh, Fiverr if you want to do something custom. And I'll go ahead and cover that here in just a minute as well. And let's say SPM. All right, for some reason, it's not pulling up as I search. There we go, SPM. And there it is, right? So, I mean, pretty simple stuff. Two to five minutes, right? You can create a fan page. Two to five minutes, you can create a group. And now your, your key really, guys, is to market this fan page, right? Market the fan page or market the group on the fan page or market the fan page inside of groups. So it goes both ways, right? The problem lies where people, they just get distracted, they don't build it up uh, and they don't take the time to, you know, kind of nurture it and actually promote it. So, you know, as you guys saw in my reverse diabetes um, page here, you know, I just started promoting it again. I'm going to get likes on there because I'm targeting all the people that have diabetes, diabetes associations, other diabetes fan pages. So I'm going to get um, likes. I'm going to get people actually clicking on this link and buying this product that I picked out from ClickBank. All right. So you guys can see here, reverse your diabetes, really, you know, pro looking product. Warning. This thing is probably sold. I don't know, well over a few thousand units, right? So this thing sells. Uh, people will come from this and they'll say, hmm, what is that, right? Especially as I start informing them more, adding them to my group, people are going to be more interested in buying that product. So uh, that's the next step, guys, creating a fan page, creating a group. Let's see what we got. Let's, let's, uh, let's go back to our notes here and say, what are some sites that we could choose products from? We've done that part. Um, so let's go ahead and do next. Next steps would be, The next step would be, you know, creating, I guess I got to stop my recording video, right? So uh, for that, you know, you guys have just learned how to create a fan page and uh, you can see we were actually recording a training within a training. So hopefully this helps you. Click the link below, add me on Facebook and we'll see you guys on the inside.